it is a little bit hard to read these and try to, to answer everything at the same time. But let's see, we have a question here that says, uh, does the prior diagnosis, okay, there's a few questions here about the claims process itself that I'll be addressing. One person did ask, is there a length of service requirement to be a veteran? And the length of service requirement is a little bit tricky, but generally there is no length of service requirement to get service-connected compensation. So if a veteran does have an incident in service, even if it was on their first day of serving active duty that caused them to have a current service-connectable condition, then that's going to be just fine. There are length of service requirements for other benefits, but not benefits that we're talking about right now in terms of compensation. And I think I'll get to more of these in the end. And also, what I'll do too is if, if there's a way for me to save all of these, I can go through them and maybe I can write up some answers and send them all out to the group as well so that way everybody can see some common questions and common answers and we can have some shared knowledge amongst each other. Yes, but Nicole, there's a way for the GoToWebinar service to gather all the questions and then I can send them to you. Okay, that'll be great. You know, let's do that because it does seem like there's quite a few questions and I don't want to do a disservice to everyone by not being able to get through the presentation as well as not being able to adequately answer the questions. So please keep asking them because I will make a promise to you right now that that's what we'll do is I will get all the questions typed up and 